Magandang buhay po at welcome po sa akin channel. Ang channel po na makakatulong sa inyo sa inyong pag-aaral ngayon pong panahon ng pandemic. Ngayon po ay tuturuan ko po kayo on how to solve age problem. So ang lesson po na ito ay para po sa mga grade 7 learner. Ginawa ko po itong Tagalog version upang maunawaan po ninyo yung aking pagpapaliwanag. Kung ikaw po ay bago sa aking channel, click mo lang ang like and subscribe upang sa ganon ay ma-update ka sa iba pa pong video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Sa ngayon po ay nagagawa po po ako ng mga learning tasks o performance tasks sa mga susunod na lesson. Okay, bago po ako mag-present ng examples ng age problems, let's try to recall the steps in solving word problems. So first, read and analyze or understand the problem. Second, Represent the unknown with a variable. Third, associate the unknown variable with the values given in the problem. Fourth, form an equation using the values in variables. Fifth, solve the equation using algebraic method. And of course, last, prove and check the answers. Okay, first example. Money is 2 years older than J. 8 years from now, the sum of their ages will be 24. What is their present age? Okay, so let us try to analyze the problem. Ano po? Kasi mahalagang maunawa natin yung problem bago po tayo mag-solve. So tignan natin yung first statement. Money is 2 years older than Jay. Pag itatagalog po natin dyan, si Money daw ay mas matanda ng dalawang taon kay Jay. So kung alam po natin yung age ni Jay, makukuha na rin po natin yung age ni Money. Ano po? Okay, so since natin yan alam yung age ni Jay, let us represent this as unknown. Ano po? So, let x as the age of j at present. So, para madaling isolve natin tong age problem na ito, gagawa po tayo ng table. Sa table po, there are three columns. Ano po? Yung first column ay yung pangalan ng dalawang tauhan dito, si j at si money. So, at present, ang age ni j is x. Since x ay nirepresent natin na age po ni J. Ano po? So, kung si J ay X, sa first statement, money is 2 years older than J. Mas matanda daw ng dalawang taon si money. So, therefore, represent natin si money as X plus 2. Ano po? Then, third column, age, age 8 years from now. Okay, nakalagay po kasi doon sa second statement, 8 years from now, the sum of their age will be 24. So, sa Tagalog niyan, uh, after 8 years, ang total na age nila money at ni J ay 24. So, ibig sabihin, so from now, magpa-plus tayo ng 8 sa age ni J. Ano po? So, X plus 8. At si money naman, X plus 2, mag a din tayo ng 8. Kaya, X plus 2 plus 8. So, yan po yung age ni J, 8 years from now, at ni money. Ano po? So, from this, makakagawa tayo ng equation. So, second statement, sabi niya, 8 years from now, the sum of their age will be 24. So, dito sa third column, ipaplus lang natin yung age ni J at ni Manny. Then, i-equal natin sa 24. Kasi ang sum daw po ay 24. So, age ni J is x plus 8. Then, paplus natin yung age ni Manny na x plus 2 plus 8. So, simplify na po natin x plus 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. Is equal to 24. So, yan na po yung ating na-formulate na equation. Okay, since naka-formulate na tayo ng equation, x plus 8 plus x plus 10 is equal to 24, yan po yung age ni Manny and age ni J, 8 years from now. Ano po? So, solve na po natin yung ating equation. So, pagsamahin po natin yung may variable at yung constant. So, ang variable dyan is x, then x. So, x plus x is equal to 2x. And then, pa-plus natin yung 8 plus 10 na constant. 8 plus 10 is equal to 18. Is equal to 24. So, if you notice, ito na po ay uh, linear equation in one variable. So, madali na lang pong itong isolve. Ano po? So, to solve this one, iwan natin yung may variable na x sa left side at yung constant, idadala po natin sa right side. Ano po? So, transpose natin yung 18. So, maiwan sa left side is 2x is equal to 24. Pag nilipat mo yung plus 18 sa kabila ng equal sign, magiging minus 18. Ano po? So, 24 minus 18. So, 2x is equal to 24 minus 18 is equal to 6. Since x po ang ating hinahanap, so, yun po yung unknown natin. So, tanggal po natin by, uh, tanggal natin yung 2 by dividing 2 to both side of the equation. 
So, y2 to cancel 2. So, ang matitira na lang po sa left side, cancel po natin yung 2 is x. Ano po? Then, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, yung 3 na po na yan, yan po yung age of j at present. Kasi nirepresent po natin that x is the age of j at present. Ano po? So, ano naman po kaya ang age ni money at present? So, ang age ni money ay x plus 2. Ano po? So, since x is 3, so, substitute lang po natin, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Okay, and 5 is the age of money at present. Ano po? So, ang tinatanong lang po ng problem is, what is their present age? So, ano daw yung present age ni money at ni J? So, ang present age po ni J is 3 at ni money is 5. Yan na po yung sagot natin dun sa tinatanong ng problem. Okay, check po natin yung ating sagot kung tama. So, para ma-check po natin, check po natin sa second statement na 8 years from now, the sum of their age will be 24. Ano po? So, mula dyan sa equation, yan na po yan yung x plus 8 ay age ni j, 8 years from now, at x plus 10, age ni money, 8 years from now. So, dapat po ay mag equal to 24. Ano po? So, yung age ni j at present ay 3, yung na-compute po natin. At yung age po ni money at present ay 5. Ano po? So, 8 years from now. So, kung 3 si J, magpa-plus lang tayo ng 8 years from now plus 8. So, 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. So, 8 years from now, ang age po ni J ay 11. How about age of money? So, 5 plus 8. So, 8 years from now, kay 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. So, dapat daw, kapag pinag-plus natin yung age nila, 8 years from now is equal to 24. Ano po? According to the statement. So, 11 plus 13 is equal to 24 and that is correct. So, ibig sabihin, tama po yung sagot natin na at present, ang age ni J ay 3 at ang age ni Manny is 5. Okay, second example. 10 years ago, the sum of the age of one and his son is 28. If one is 22 years older than his son, what is their age now? Okay, so mahalagang maunawaan po natin yung problem. Ano po? So yung unang problem po kanina ay sa mga susunod na taon. So ngayon naman po ay nakalipas na taon. Ano po? Tingnan po natin yung unang statement. 10 years ago, so makalipas ang 10 taon mula ngayon, yan po ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang total na age ni Juan at yung kanyang anak ay 28. Ano po? Sa so, second statement, Juan is 22 years older than his son. So, si Juan daw ay mas matanda ng 22 years kaysa sa kanyang anak. Ano po? So, kung alam po natin yung edad ng kanyang anak, magpa-plus lang po tayo ng 22, yun po yung edad ni Juan. Ano po? Since di po natin alam yung edad ni son, yung anak ni Juan, i-represent po natin as the unknown. Ano po? So, we let x as the age of son at present. So, again, mula dyan, makakagawa po tayo ng uh, equation, statement. Ano po? So, form po tayo ng table sa first column, son and Juan. Ano po? So, at present, nirepresent po natin na ang edad ni son is x. So, ibig sabihin, ang edad naman ni Juan, since Juan is 22 years older than his son, so, edad ni son na x plus 22. Ano po? So, mula dyan, Kung alam po saan natin yung edad ni San, makukuha din yung edad ni Juan. So, hindi po, kaya gagawa po tayo ng equation. So, sa first statement, age 10 years ago. So, makalipas ng 10 taon. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ganyan po yung statement, 10 years ago, magma-minus po tayo naman. Ano po? So, si San, ang age niya at present ay X. So, X minus 10. Yun po yung expression natin. Ano? After 10 years. Okay? Or 10 years before rather. At si Juan naman, x plus 22, at present, magmamalus din po tayo ng 10, kaya x plus 22 minus 10. So, mula dito sa statement ng third column, ay makakaformulate tayo ng equation. Ano po? Balikan natin yung first statement. 10 years ago, the sum of the age of Juan and his son is 28. So, kapag ipa-plus natin yung age ni son at Juan 10 years ago, yan na po yung equation natin. I-equal po lang po natin ng 28. So, equation... So, x minus 10 plus x plus 22 minus 10. So, simplify na po natin. So, 22 minus 10 is 12. Kaya, x plus 12 is equal to 28. So, yan na po yung ating na-formulate na equation 
from the table and the problem. Okay, since nakapermanent po tayo ng equation, solve na po natin. Pagsamain po natin lahat ng may variable at lahat ng constant. So, x plus x is equal to 2x plus negative 10 plus 12 is 2 is equal to 28. So, nakabuo po tayo ng linear equation in one variable. So, solve na po natin. Yung may variable po na x, iwan natin sa left side, lahat ng constant, idala sa right side. So, yung 2 ay constant, idala natin sa right side. So, may iwan sa left side is 2x is equal to 28. So, plus 2 siya, pag nilipat, magiging minus 2. So, 2x is equal to 28 minus 2 is 26. Since may kasama po yung x, tanggal po natin by dividing 2 to both side of the equation. So, bakit po 2? Para po ma-cancel ma natin, ano po, sa numerical coefficient of x. So, sa left side, ang matitira na lang po ay x. Then, 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13. So, yung 13 po na yan, yan po yung age ng sun at present or now. Ano po? So, ano naman po yung age ni Juan o yung kanyang ama at present or now. Okay? So, x plus 22 ang uh, nakalagay po sa table. So, substitute lang po natin yung 13 na x. So, 13 plus 22 is equal to 35. So, at present, ang age po ni Juan is 35 at yung kanyang anak is 13. Yun po yung tinatanong ng problem na what is their age now or present. Okay, check po natin yung ating uh, solution kung tama po. So, age of sun at present or now is 13. Yan po yung na-compute natin. At si Juan naman, ang na-compute po natin is 35 years old. So, 10 years ago, Magmamayos lang po tayo ng 10 sa age ni Sun at present. So, 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. Yan po yung age ni Sun 10 years ago. Si Juan naman, 35 minus 10 is equal to 25 years old. Okay. So, according to the problem, pag pinag-plus daw po natin yung age nila 10 years ago, dapat ay 28. So, 3 plus 25 is 28 and that is correct. So, yan po kasi yung sinasabi ng statement na, Sum of age of one and his son 10 years ago, it should be 28. So, tama po yung ating sagot. Salamat po sa iyong panood. Kung ipaw po ay bago sa aking channel, ilike mo lang po at isubscribe para ma-update ka sa iba pa pong video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod na araw.